Hello and welcome from International House Willows. In this video, we will show you how to declare your income tax. This video materials have been done in cooperation with tax service called MME. If you like most people, the thought of doing your taxes can be intimidating. But don't worry, by the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding on how to declare your income tax and feel more confident in doing so individually at home by following our instructions. But before we start, let us take an opportunity to present International House Wilmos. At International House Wilmos, we understand that relocating and living in a new country can be overwhelming. That's why we provide valuable support and information to all foreigners relocating and living in Wilmos. We make use of an extensive network of national agencies, local organizations, and experts to ensure your integration process is as easy as possible. In addition to providing support and information, we also organize useful workshops and events where newcomers can get advice and meet fellow foreigners. Best of all, this, all the services are free of charge. So if you're a foreigner in Vilnius and need any help, you should know International House Vilnius is here to help make you and make your transition as smooth as possible. And now, as promised, let's move on to the declaring taxes. It is important to note that in 2023, taxes are being declared for the year 2022, a finished one. Make sure to have your taxes declared until 2nd of May 2023. And now, who needs to declare income tax? There are several uh, groups of people who are required to do so, and you can see them listed on the screen. For example, those who have carried out individual activities according to the certificate or have business certificates. So if you fall into any of these categories, make sure you declare your taxes by the deadline to avoid any penalties and fees. And now that we know who needs to declare their taxes, let's talk about how to do it. There are several ways to do so. First, online by using the electronic declaration system, EDS in short by scheduling a meeting with a VMS specialist and International House Wilmos. You can do it by visiting our website. Also, you can visit the tax service. Uh, there are contact information you can also find on their website or in the comment section below under this video on YouTube. And the last way is to call the information uh, tax service or uh, use the remote services uh, from the phones you can see also on the screen. But for the purposes of this video, we will be explaining how to declare your taxes online. It is actually a very easy process, as all the information is digitized and automated. And let us take another moment for you to present uh, how to schedule a meeting uh, with a uh, VME consultant in International House Wilmos. We would like to show you just how easy it is. First, go to our website at ihashvilnus.lt and click on the schedule a meeting button. Next, uh, choose the institution you'd like to schedule a meeting with. In this case, select tax service. Then choose the date and time that works best for you. Once you selected the time slot and register, you'll receive a confirmation email with all the details of your appointment. And that's it, it's really that simple. In addition to the tax service, International House Vilnius and the office also host a number of other institutions, all of which offer services in English and Russian languages, and for sure, for free of charge. To learn more about what else we have to offer, be sure to check out our website. And now finally, let's get started with declaring your taxes online. The first step is to go to the electronic declaration system, EDS. You can simply type EDS into Google or use the link provided on the official VMAE website or in the uh, comment section below under this video. The EDS system is available in English, so it should be easy to navigate even if you're not fluent in Lithuanian. If you prefer to use a language other than English, don't worry, you can always turn on an automatic translation extension in your browser. This will allow you to view the pages in your preferred language. And now, uh, when you made it to EDS system, it is time to log in. Simply navigate to the declaration section of the website and click on the log in button. So now, if you're a resident of Lithuania, there are a few different ways how you can access electronic service uh, like EDS system. 
One option is to use bank authorization, which allows you to access VMAE services using your existing online banking credentials. Another option is to use your electronic signature. This can be particularly useful if you're not using a Litvinian bank. To get an electronic signature, you can go to a physical store of your mobile phone operator and ask them to make one for you. Once you have your electronic signature, you can use it to access a wide range of electronic services in Lithuania, including the EDS system for tax declaration. And now that you log in, it is time to declare your taxes. Here is what you need to do. First, locate form GPM311. Once you found it, select the tax period of 2022. Then click on the globe icon to proceed. We have now entered the declaration process where you will uh, need to fill out various fills. You can see all the steps awaits you on your left. The first uh, step uh, and the first fill you should fill out is your legal status. For most foreigners holding a residence permit in Lithuania, you should select permanent resident of Lithuania. Next, you should fill out the field for any income that you have already declared for the 2022 tax year. If you have already declared some income from last year, please enter the amount in this field. If you have not yet declared any income for the 2022 tax year, just uh, leave this field empty and click on continue. Now the next step, if you're working within the employment contract and aim to declare the tax return, you will see the declared data from your employer that will include inputs like your salary, uh, work repayments, gifts, etc. If you see that the amount uh, need to be adjusted or added, click on the pencil icon. Now, after clicking on the pencil icon, in this input fields, you can see the data provided by your employer and adjust it if needed. Please click save when you're done. Also, if you have a limited working capacity, you may be eligible for increased tax extent amount of income. In this section, please provide data about your rise to this extension. This includes information about any established level of special needs or disabilities. By providing this information, you may be able to reduce your taxable income and pay less in taxes. Be sure to carefully review the requirements for this exemption and provide accurate information to ensure that you are claiming it correctly. When you're done with this section, click Yes, correct, and proceed. Uh, now, in this step, you will need to fill in the data about your income from activities, both in Lithuania and abroad. If you have been working, let's say, as a freelancer for a Lithuanian company under a contract for individual activity, your income should uh, already be declared from the company's side and you will see it in the system. However, if you have any other income that hasn't been included to the system yet, you will need to add it manually. Make sure to enter all the information correctly. And now let's go get to the details. Uh, the next step is to indicate how exactly you received your payment. You'll need to specify wherever the payments were made in cash or by invoices with bank transfers. This information is important, so make sure to enter it accurately. And now let's talk about tax-free expenses that can help to save your money. You may be able to deduct expenses related to your work. The Lithuanian tax system works on well understanding that there is no profit without the expenses, and that also means you're given the right to have your income tax to be reduced. For example, let's get it very practical. If you are a taxi driver and you earned 100 euros, but you spent 30 euros on fuel, you will have deducted that expense from your taxes. This means that you will pay only taxes on the actual income you earned after paying for fuel, which is in this case 70 euro. But please uh, put all your expenses detailed uh, with uh, all the income um, amount that you have. And uh, to, to confirm these expenses, there are two ways. The first is automatic one. So as I mentioned already, the tax system of Lithuania understands that there is no income without expenses, so you will get an automatic 30% deduction for your declaration. 
using the example above, so 30%, let's say, of uh, 100 euro is, uh, is 30 euro. So your taxable income after deducting your expenses is 70 euros. But uh, you do not need to do any calculations. The system will do it for you automatically after you uh, choose your method of recognition of authorized settlements. And there is a second way uh, how also to uh, reduce your uh, tax payable. Uh, it is for those who spend more than 30% and can prove it. Let's say, let's take it practically. Uh, you're a developer and uh, you spend 50% of your income on a new powerful laptop. In this case, you can submit a receipt for your laptop as a proof of your expenses needed for work. However, be prepared to prove that the expenses is, uh, should be related directly to your work. Sometimes even some softwares uh, will not be counted, but uh, some equipment will. Uh, the tax specialist may ask you for some information if needed, if needed or contact you directly. Uh, remember, it is important to indicate the full income amount while filling in your declaration, including all expenses while adding into the system. And then the expense withdrawal will be counted automatically by the system uh, based on what you chose, automatic 30% or by proving the bigger percentage. Okay, so uh, let's get moving. The next question is about any property related income, such as rental income or income from the sale or transfer of land buildings or other immutable property. Then in this case, you will need to declare it. This also applies to income uh, from the rental or sale of items like home appliance, vehicles, um, and also additionally, if you earn income from selling standing forest or waste, you also will need to declare it as well. But if all of this uh, have none of the uh, connection with what you're doing, uh, you should just simply press, no, I have not received. Now, uh, the next step is uh, about the interest in Lithuania or abroad. If you earn interest in Lithuania or abroad, you must declare it. This includes interest from loans granted to companies or other residents, deposits held with credit institutions and securities. It also applies to interest earned from consumer credit or uh, funds raised through peer-to-peer -peer lending or let's say crowdfunding platforms. But if this is not applying to you, please press no, I have not received. And um, now uh, the next step. If you have received any other income not mentioned previously, you also need to declare it. This includes different uh, distribute profits like dividends, can be copyright royalties, gifts received from non relative exceeding 2,500 euros per year, gambling winnings, and benefits from life insurance or early termination of pension contracts. It also applies to income from services rendered or as the head of small partnership. But if it's not uh, related to your activities, you should press, no, I have no receipt. And now this is another option for you to reduce the declared percentage. Uh, if you have incurred expenses that reduces income in Lithuania or abroad, then you can also apply for it. So let's say it can be some vocational training or study fees, it can be some interest or mortgage credit, uh, some uh, expenses for repaying or taking care of your kids. You can also apply for it. But if it's not relevant to you, please press no, I have not received. And now we have actually completed filling in the required data and it's time uh, to form the declaration. You have two options. Click on form a declaration to submit it now or click continue filling later if you need to save your progress and come back to it later. Uh, please note, the note that um, once you submit the declaration, you won't be able to make any changes to it. So make sure to review all the information carefully before submitting. After pressing submitting, um, you will see such a window and now uh, wait for some minute for the declaration to be formed and do not close it. And now after completing your income and expense declaration, you will see the final amount that uh, either needs to be refunded to you uh, from the state or paid by you to the state. 
let's say if your tax payments are um, over that needed, uh, you person who works under an employment contract, you can receive a tax return. Um, then in this case, you will see in green refundable along with the amount to be refunded and the credit card number where the money will be transferred to you within a couple of months. But if you see to pay instead of refundable, it means you owe to pay taxes to the states. And uh, this will be actually your amount calculated by this system um, based on what you submitted in your declaration form. Uh, below, you can see another amount, and uh, this is uh, the uh, payments made to SODRA, those that are needed to be made uh, to SODRA, that is a special security national agency. So if you have to pay an amount, we suggest you to call the SODRA hotline or schedule a meeting with a specialist and in International House Vilnius office to confirm the need of payment and proceed with it if necessary. By scrolling down uh, below in this section, you can also see all the details you indicated. And uh, upper in the left edge of your screen, you can also see download the file that will include all of the details you have filled in and all the payments you need to proceed with. Um, and now, last but very important, on this page, click on Submit uh, Declaration. And now, uh, congratulations! You have successfully submitted your tax declaration. If any additional information is needed, the tax service specialist will contact you. However, please wait. Do not turn off this video. There is one last step left. Now we will explain to you how to pay the declared tax. There are different ways, and uh, one of the most uh, popular is a bank transfer. Uh, if you choose this um, an option to pay via bank, you can see on the screen um, all the bank account numbers and details, and you can also see them in the comment section uh, below under this video. So in order for you to um, pay for your uh, declared tax, you need to choose a bank and specify your payment order uh, by indicating the legal entity code, the name of recipient, uh, the payer identification number, your name and surname, payment code, and the amount. Uh, you can see all the details and codes also on the screen, so please do so. As I we mentioned before, there are various payment methods for taxes, uh, not only the bank transfers, and you can also see them on the screen. So you can uh, go physically to post offices, grocery shops, you can use online portals or mobile apps. And uh, please make sure to pay at least two days before the deadline of uh, tax declaration to ensure timely payment and avoid any penalties. And that would be it. Thank you for watching this video and we hope it was useful. Please leave us your comments or questions in the comment section below under this video. And if you have any further questions or you need an assistance, please do not hesitate to contact us.